Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna be doing a Bitcoin Cash technical analysis, but before I jump into the charts, I wanted to clarify something very quick here about the 32 megabyte block upgrade for Bitcoin Cash and why this is happening. When obviously it's not needed yet, there's not that much traffic on the network uh, for Bitcoin Cash to need 32 megabyte blocks right now. The reason uh, for this upgrade, my cats are going crazy out there. So the reason for this upgrade, it's not because it's needed, but because the whole mission of Bitcoin Cash is to be, uh, is to go back to the original Bitcoin roadmap. Bitcoin, when it, when it was first released back in 2008 and the end of 2008, beginning of 2009, it was, uh, before it had one megabyte block, it was 32 megabyte block. The original Bitcoin out of the box was 32 megabyte blocks. And then very early on in the, you know, in the project when Satoshi was still working on the, on the project and all the early developers, they decided to cap it to one megabyte block as a temporary thing to avoid the spam transactions and other reasons. But it was always in the roadmap that Bitcoin would go back to 32 megabyte blocks as soon as it got traction, if it was to get traction, because in the beginning it was no one really knew if this thing was gonna take off or not. So they decided to cap it to one megabyte block, to one megabyte block but it was always stated and always planned to go back to the original 32 megabyte blocks. And because the mission of Bitcoin Cash is to be, you know, the real Bitcoin is to go back to the spirit of Bitcoin. That's why they're doing the upgrade now. It, it's, it doesn't hurt the network at all. There's enough traction now uh, to have 32 megabyte blocks. It doesn't hurt the network. Um, it doesn't make any sense, this argument that it's going to centralize, uh, you know, the 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 nodes and it's uh, people are not going to want to store nodes that just if you just use a little bit of common sense you will realize i'm not going to go into this right now in this video but it's just it's beyond me how people believe this argument uh, so now it's not going to centralize a network and it doesn't hurt and uh, yeah this is basically the the reason they want to be very very aligned to the original bitcoin project you know the original project and that's the reason so now let's jump into the charts okay so i have here the chart for bitcoin cash versus bitcoin these are the one day candles and we can see we had a very nice breakout here yesterday uh yesterday i was out all morning and i came back home i believe it was around 5 p.m in the afternoon and as uh 5 or 6 p.m uh in the afternoon something like that i think it was and as soon as i got home uh what do i do of course i go to my computer and I saw this breaking out. It was somewhere here probably. So I saw uh, Bitcoin Cash breaking out. Uh, I saw Bitcoin Cash also breaking out versus the US dollar or trying to break out. First thing I did, I shared these images on the free Telegram uh, channel. So uh, you guys, uh, you could have, if you're not in this, uh, in this channel, you see it was just when I came back uh, home, I saw these and first thing I did, I just, share this image here on telegram so guys subscribe to this telegram channel if you don't want to miss out uh in this signal so uh and this is and this is bitcoin cash versus the us dollar so it was at around uh, 1466 at the moment of sharing this picture um and so each one of these lines is a target so anyways so yeah each one of these lines it says here target Target one and target two are just the targets uh, from this pattern breaking out. These targets have been triggered. Uh, so the first target is, uh, you know, you, you guys know how this is um, from top to bottom uh, and within, within the pattern. And then you put this at the breakout. And the one up here would be from bottom to top of the, f of the whole flag. So if this one actually breaks in the, in the upside, then the second target would be expected. Now, this is not recommendation to, to sell on the targets uh, for me guys uh, this is a buy and hold uh, like very very clear I mean these are the daily uh, the daily candles uh, it's very likely this was the bottom and we ha we just had a, a bullish cross with the 20 and the 50 day moving averages here so this became a buy and hold uh, since this uh, cross happened here so 
Um, I was expecting this to retrace a little bit more to get a better entry, but get, uh, buying the breakout is just fine as well. So very bullish on Bitcoin Cash. Uh, these targets are only like an orientation uh, for me to know where it will, you know, where it might be stopping or pulling back a little bit but these are not like targets to take profit or close a position uh to take profit or close a position you ideally you would want to wait until there's a bearish cross no matter where this cross happens uh, ideally this will you know shoot up from here and the bearish cross will happen after we broke the previous all-time high so but even if this reverses any time which is possible you know anything can reverse any time for any reason so if this uh you know reverses and it crosses bearish then you would exit for a little loss and just wait for your next uh bullish cross but i'm very very optimistic volume is uh is growing here so uh yeah very bullish on bitcoin cash and very similar for bitcoin us dollar bitcoin cash versus us dollar um <clears throat> so yeah this uh this line was broken and it triggered all these targets now you see i have a line here with this previous high this line is going to be hard to break in my opinion because it's not only this previous high but it's a very very significant resistance from from back here you see is this resistance but if this one actually breaks in the upside, which should be breaking because this uh, this trend line being broken triggered all these targets up here. So it should break. But in the other hand, it's a very, very strong resistance. Uh, it comes from here. So until this one is broken and we actually need to you know manage to stay above this line if we manage to stay above this line if it breaks and we stay above it then it's very very likely we're gonna go back to the previous all-time highs here because this is a this is the most significant resistance that we need to break but if this one breaks then we're we're off to you know we, we're going up most likely of course nothing is guaranteed but yeah this this uh, significant resistance here it's exactly like uh, the 12,000 for BTC for Bitcoin BTC so is the I have the chart here I think so I have been saying until Bitcoin doesn't break above this significant resistance here which is at almost 12,000 we are not in the clear now if this one breaks then you know we, we're going to be more than halfway up from the bottom so uh, it would be a very very uh bullish sign and it's the exact same bullish sign we find for uh bitcoin cash versus the dollar if we break this one at around 1600 and stay above this one then we're up we're we're off to the races here so that's my views uh of course if you want to day trade and take profits these are the targets but for me this is a, a buy and hold very very clear i have been accumulating since like forever so i never sold uh, a single one and i've no intention uh of doing that for me bitcoin cash getting bitcoin cash now is just like getting bitcoin uh back in 2012 or 13 that's exactly uh you know it's the exact same spirit is the exact it's in the exact same roadmap so that's how i see it and yeah guys so thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon bye